<coughs> I'm recording this just in case they actually fix it. Um, there's something in Google or uh, YouTube called Transcribe Audio. This thing is so messed up. I'm going to let you see it just from here. I'm just sorting a little bit. And Where is it? The way to do is we're going to cover it up. And then we're going to cook it slowly. See, As you can see, the audio does not match well done, the subtitles. Yeah, then I blend it and make a fine paste. You don't want to see the traces of uh, tomato or onion in it. So cook it really good. When I make a paste, it should blend very nicely. Okay, now... Uh, I think uh, I boiled them enough. Fighting so calm. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a very fine paste of this. Now I have, uh, I'm going to put this in my blender. Uh, once we add, but what is missing is our nice makani sauce color. You know, just by tomatoes you cannot get that color. By tomatoes you usually get a little bit slightly mild orange. If you don't want to add color, you don't. But uh, I want to give that restaurant effect. So I'm going to add few drops at a time. Who drops at a time? Uh, now I get this uh, beautiful mm. makani color. Market oh, economy. You may not know, but in the hotels and the restaurants, we add a little bit of uh, sugar to our makani sauce. Don't add too much, very little bit of sugar, and uh, that gives that uh, nice, sweetie taste that a uh, lot of this uh, butter chicken that you eat in the restaurants have. You know, I want to tell you one little secret that a lot of uh, chefs in U.S. and England I've seen uh, in a lot of uh, these restaurants. But I haven't seen these chefs using in India. But here they add and I see the taste even more better. And it gives a very nice texture to butter chicken. That is, they add a little bit of tomato ketchup. Okay, you watch this. Don't ever tell anybody that Chef Tumma of War Chef has shown you this, okay? Just add a little bit of tomato ketchup, not much, very little. It gives a tangy, nice flavor. Okay. Now, you know, our uh, uh, butter chicken gravy is ready. What we are going to do, we are going to add half a cup of cream. Okay. Once you add cream, the color gets a little milder. I am going to finish it off by adding the chicken. Okay. <coughs> Identities. <laughs> you can see this uh, butter chicken is beautiful. You can see the pieces very well. Uh, he said pizza sauce. Don't finish it off in a hurry. Taste it two, three times. This butter chicken, you need to give that finishing tasty touch. And when everything is done, just add little garam masala powder. If your kids are eating, don't add too much garam masala. You know, because kids love this preparation because... It's got nice buttery taste and it's 1940. Nice. It's a little bit sour and uh, you know don't try to get this color right away from tomatoes because when you try that you know the butter chicken will become very sour and it's not good. You want a very mild sour. Yeah, you can definitely read the company stock. <clears throat> I'll leave the link in the description. You guys could uh, watch it, but this is this is just too funny. Good job, YouTube. You failed again.